If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 8 of Learn Gatling series, we are going to talk about configuration in Gatling. Configuration is a backbone for any tool. For example, if you're working in a JMeter, you can configure your properties uh, in system.properties, user.properties, and then you can refer the jmeter.properties. So similarly, in Gatling, you can configure the properties. Apart from the default configuration, you can also bring up your own properties with key value pair. In Gatling, you can configure the log level as well, and also you can configure the general settings. Gatling follows a concept or a format called uh, Human Optimized Config Object Notation, uh, shortly uh, Hocon. So this is the example of uh, Hocon format, where uh, you have to mention your uh, key value pair, and also you can use the uh, curly braces to define the block. And uh, you can follow the JSON uh, key value pair uh, format, and also you can use the uh, equals symbol. So both are valid. And this Hocon uh, format uh, created by a uh, company, uh, Light Bend. There are many uh, products uh, which leverages the uh, Hocon uh, format, for example, uh, Jitsi, uh, Tipco, so uh, to name a few. So now let us uh, talk about the Gatling configuration. Whenever you download the Gatling uh, uh, package, once you extract it, you can see the uh, files under the conf directory. So here you can uh, find the properties for the Gatling and also Gatling ACCA framework. And for all the log, you can use the logback.xml. And for the recorder, you can use the recorder.conf file. You can configure the properties using uh, multiple ways. One is using these uh, configuration. And if you are using uh, Gradle or Maven, you can uh, create the configuration under resources folder. And also you can pass the values in the command line. And also you can use the uh, environment variables. So in Windows, you can uh, set the environment variables. And also in Linux uh, or Unix system, you can configure the environment variable using the export keyword. So this is the uh, process Gatling will follow. So there are multiple uh, uh, two fallbacks. So first it will refer to system.properties. So if you have anything uh, in the system.properties, it will uh, refer the file. So you have to pass the hyphen D and gatling.conf.file and then it will uh, uh, make use of the uh, your custom uh, configuration file. So now uh, if you if you don't have any uh, conf file. So now what it will do is it will uh, go to the uh, resources folder. So inside the resources folder, if there is a gatling.conf, it will uh, refer the properties from there. And if you have anything custom property, you can also add it in the gatling.conf and then you can uh, make the uh, properties read it from the resources. So do not map something uh, like a different location. For example, your GitHub repository or a different location, basically it will not take up. Uh, it will load it from the class loader. So it should be under, it must be under SRC Gatling uh, resources or SRC test resources. So these are the two places where you can uh, put your uh, gatling.conf. If you refer something like a C drive or D drive or a network drive or uh, some other uh, directory, it will not uh, read the values. And the last uh, resort is gatling uh, defaults.conf. So whenever you extract the gatling core uh, by right clicking the jar file and extract, you can see the uh, Gatling ACCA, Gatling defaults, and logback the dummy. So you should not touch these files. And if you want to make some changes, always uh, take a create a new conf and refer the uh, key value property from the uh, GitHub repository, which I have mentioned here. So first it will look for system properties, then it will look out for Gatling.conf, then it will go back to the default.conf. So this is the process Gatling will follow. And if you want to pass something in a command line, of course, you can use this, uh, for example, uh, hyphen nr, which means uh, no reports, or uh, reports only, uh, tag ro, tag rf. So these are the uh, official uh, command line options uh, you can follow. Of course, you can refer this uh, in the documentation as well for more uh, details. So next, if you want to pass the Java options, for example, I want to increase the heap size. Then apart from the default uh, java underscore opts uh, value, here you can see by default it will uh, take up uh, 1 GB of uh, heap space. But if you want to override that, if you can pass the java underscore uh, opts equals uh, heap memory 8 GB, and then you can uh, make a call to the gatling.bat or gatling.sh. 
So this is how you make use of the Java underscore OPTS in Gatling. Okay, now let us talk about uh, logs. Uh, Gatling doesn't use uh, a log for J. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of issues uh, from past couple months. Uh, so still uh, exploitation might be there somewhere around, which we do not know. So log for shell uh, uh, heavily affected across all the Java ecosystem. But uh, Gatling doesn't use the log4j framework. It uses logback framework, which is the spin off version of uh, log4j. You can uh, check more details in the logback website. So this is the sample uh, logback uh, framework uh, XML. So here uh, you can configure the uh, file path, file where you want to write, and uh, what log level you want to follow. And also you can uh, uh, configure the console level logs. You can uh, put something like a file, on pattern, uh, log rotation. So there are a lot of things you can leverage uh, because it is using the log back framework. So these are the uh, things uh, I would like to share. So now let us see a quick demo how you can uh, run, uh, how do you can configure, how you can uh, uh, set the uh, log level in Gatling. So as usual, I have created the package uh, config and inside the config, we have a class uh, config demo. So basically I have just copy and pasted uh, with the previous example as you see here. Uh, we have online boutique and it is making a couple of calls in the backend. So now if you go to the uh, Gatling SRC, Gatling and resources. So if, if there is no folder, you can create the directory by right clicking on the Gatling uh, folder. So here you can uh, keep your Gatling.conf and logback.xml. Or if you want to keep that in the test folder, of course you can do that. So in this case, I'm just uh, placing the gatling.conf inside the resources. First, let us open the gatling.conf. So here, uh, as you see, it is following the Hocon format and uh, uh, you can also use the colon or the equal symbol. So right now I have configured a very pretty simple uh, example. So in this case, we are adding a prefix to the output directory base name and I'm adding the uh, QA insights and the run description. So this description will display it in the HTML report. And also I have uh, made some changes uh, the way how we execute the script. So usually we run Gradle wrapper and then Gatling run the task name hyphen uh, config package name dot the class name. So I created the run script dot BAT and then I added this uh, step. So what you can do is instead of uh, always uh, typing the full command, we can always run the uh, run script dot BAT. So now if I hit run, it will execute the uh, respective package and the class name. So once this is done, let us go to the results folder and see whether uh, we have this uh, configuration or not. Uh, as of now, uh, ignore the errors. I will explain when it comes to the uh, logging section. So now it's almost done. Let me uh, go to the uh, Gatling demo folder. And here, uh, let us uh, go to the uh, build and reports, uh, Gatling. And here you can see the uh, QA insights uh, prefix and also the timestamp. So this is the latest uh, time which we executed. So let me delete the old ones. So this is our latest report. So now let me open this uh, HTML file and let us uh, launch the index.html. So this is our uh, Gatling uh, HTML report. And at the top right, you can see, so this is the description we have configured in the configuration file. So this description will appear in all your HTML reports and also the folder prefix also you can see QA insights. So this is how you configure the uh, details, whatever you want to uh, configure, apart from the default values, if you want to overwrite, you keep here everything so that you will have your own copy of the configuration. So do not touch anything in the core. And if you want to refer, you can of course refer the Gatling GitHub repository for any examples. So this is about gatling.conf. So now let me open the logback.xml. Since Gatling uses the logback framework, it is a XML based uh, uh, file. So here uh, you have to mention uh, the appender section. So it starts with the configuration and uh, one of the core section is appender. So appender, you have to give a name, whether you want to use uh, the console uh, configuration or you want to configure something on the uh, console, command line console, or if you want to write to a file. So you have to mention uh, the respective appender. And if you want to use both, you can you add the uh, both the appender. And again, uh, there are some typical uh, 
uh, encoder and pattern uh, you can uh, configure so all the examples are available in the gatling website or you can just uh, make use of the logback framework so here i have given something very uh, simple so here uh, it will print the uh, debug uh, level so if you go to line number 21 uh, uh, i have configured the debug level and also for the response also a debug level and also for the root also i have given a debug for the console and debug for the file and if you want to have something very advanced so we can put it like a trace so trace will give you a lot of information but it is not advisable for the uh, during the load testing it is only for the uh, uh, debugging uh, and for your unit testing so now if you just uh, execute this uh, run script and at the top it will uh, refer this uh, path c colon uh, temp because this is the temp log, log location and this mapping uh, it's happening in the line number 12. so now you can see uh, it is uh, displaying a lot of information uh, here and uh, which will help you to debug and if you go to c drive uh, temp here you can see gatling.log and if you open it you can see a lot of information it's very lengthy and by default it will append uh, the uh, lines uh, to the log file so now if you delete this file and uh, run it again so now you can see the difference so basically the trace level has more details it will write more information to the log file okay now execution is done now let us go to temp and uh, if you open it you can see a lot of information about the current execution so you can see the response also the whole response and if you just scroll down uh, you can see uh, other information like you uh, see uh, get request uh, header information everything but uh, you, you really you don't need this for your load testing you can just uh, turn off or you can keep it at the info level so this is about log back and this is about the uh, configuration and if you want to pass something in the command line again you can do that so if you have any questions please let me know and check it out uh, academy.qnsets.com for uh, more such courses and uh, thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel